Hey y'all, my name's Vicki with a V and I'm endorsing Senator Bernie Sanders for president. I had a boil on my back about the size of a, um, about, about the size of a hush puppy. And I of course wanted to have it professionally lanced, uh, but I was uninsured at the time. And so I had my husband do it. And I remember looking over my shoulder and he was jabbing at it with a ballpoint pen. And I said, honey, it's right there in the name, okay? The point's a ball. You're not gonna get anywhere with that thing. <laughs> anyway, two days later, thanks to him, we both had staph infections, we had 103 degree fevers, and after a surprise visit to the ER, we had over $2,000 in medical debt. Let's just say we didn't go to Myrtle Beach that summer, and I'm no longer subscribed to Showtime. What were we talking about? Sorry. I'm Vicky with a V, I'm a comedian, and I'm a mom, and I love Bernie Sanders because I love my daughter. I want my daughter to live in a country where she's guaranteed quality health care, whether she's some fancy CEO with shoulder pads or she's struggling to find work like her father. And I want my daughter to grow up under the Green New Deal, honey, so that there's a chance in hell she'll see a fish in the ocean after 2050. I don't want to have to imagine my daughter picking sides in the bread wars anymore. This is nothing short of an emergency. It's looking like water world out there and y'all are on Twitter talking about incrementalism. I need to calm down. Like I was saying, a vote for Bernie is a vote for my daughter because... <laughs> y'all know I can't afford her college tuition. My daughter's always saying, you know, mommy, mommy, Aunt Christy loves Trump. But you know what else Aunt Christy loves? Angel dust. Now I may hate Aunt Christy, but Bernie doesn't. Bernie's gonna fight for Aunt Christie. Okay, Bernie's gonna fight for all of us. I'm a patriot, first and foremost guy. I love my country. Um, I call these my freedom tips. But part of loving your country is knowing when she's hurting. And honey, she's in pain. We're one of the richest countries in the world and 28 million Americans are uninsured right now. One of the richest countries in the world and 550,000 Americans are homeless. We make up 4% of the world's population, but 22% of the world's prison population. Something's off. Something's rotten at the core. <laughs> the calls are coming from inside the house, y'all. We need deep structural change. Turning to Joe Biden right now is like turning to moonshine. We can either get tanked and ignore the fundamental problems that brought us Trump here in the first place, or we can elect Bernie Sanders and go to therapy. America needs therapy, honey. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, that's your boy? I need another tequila crayon if we can. Thank you. Okay, I'm all worked up. <laughs> Everyone's always talking about, you know, I, I don't like it when Bernie's yelling. He's always yelling, Bernie's always yelling. What's he yelling about? He's yelling about racial justice and billionaires paying their fair share of taxes. Okay, someone's gotta yell about that. That doesn't sound like empty rage to me. That sounds like love. Every movement that is this big, it's gonna have its bad apples. You know, I can hate the dorks who try to pick me up in bars using Seinfeld quotes, but I can still appreciate the genius of Seinfeld. I can tell my friend Shauna to shut the fuck up about keto, but I can still appreciate keto's health benefits. This movement is about love and compassion, and it always has been. It's right there on his little website. I'm gonna need another one of these for the road.